Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be my February wrap up. So basically in this video I'm going to be telling you what books I read in the month of February and what I thought about them. So to help me I have my little book review diary. <laughs> So my fiance Nathan got me this and it is really helpful especially when I do like my wrap-up videos So at the beginning of February the first book I read was Nixia by Scott Rington and it was absolutely Brilliant seriously so exciting space dramas. It was just so exciting and it felt so alive It was absolutely fantastic. So this is a series. This is book number one in the series and I'm not going to give any spoilers or anything but it really did end on a cliffhanger. It was like so blunt and abrupt. It was like, boom. And you're like, what? How can it end like this? So I'm very excited to get book two to find out what happens. I love the main character who is Emmett. He was a brilliant character. And basically there's 10 recruits. They leave Earth to go to a planet called Eden. But along the way, there's like different battles and challenges that they have to do against each other. And not everything is what it seems. So... Yeah, I really found this book really exciting. I was proper into it, loved it, and uh, I gave it four stars. Next up, I read the book called Dumpling by Julie Murphy. Um, this book has been, like, so hyped up for ages, so I was like, yes, I'm going to check it out. Uh, so it's about a character called Willa Dean who's overweight, and uh, basically, you know, she's she's kind of confident. Well, she, she goes through stages in the book of being confident with her weight and her shape and size, etc. Um, but her mum is a former beauty queen, and she decides to uh, kind of enter this beauty pageant and, um, and kind of show people what she's made of and yeah I, I think it was a cool idea and I like that kind of body confidence thing um, there's a little bit kind of too much Dolly Parton stuff like don't get me wrong I think Dolly Parton is cool um, but it was like Dolly Parton this Dolly Parton that obviously the character is a big Dolly Parton fan so that's why it featured heavily in the book but I don't know it was okay it was all right it was funny at times there were parts where I was really like laughing out loud but I just gave it the three stars. Next up I listened to an audio book and that was called The Duff. I've really gotten into audio books actually. Um, I listen to them while I'm working um, or if I'm editing, if I'm walking around, that kind of thing. So it'll take me a week or so because I'm obviously like, listening in sections. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy audio books now. So this is The Duff by Cody Keplinger and uh, Duff stands for Designated Ugly Fat Friend not liking that i think it's a horrible horrible title in itself um so basically it's about this character called bianca who i found very annoying and irritating and i know i was listening to an audio book so part of me thinks did i find the character more annoying because of the actress's voice who's reading out the book but then i think actually no if i was reading the book and that character was in my head you know i'd still have found her quite annoying um, so basically she starts this kind of sex-based relationship as such with this kind of slimy guy but he's really hot you know he's really good looking but he's a slime ball and yeah they kind of like end up having lots of sexy time and it's just like look if, if a guy had called me Duffy and then told me what it stood for I just tell him to like go away I wouldn't be like oh let's go to bed now and have sex because you've just basically called me that I, I just found that very strange and I kind of got what the story was saying the bad boy and different things but it was I don't know I just didn't I didn't really like it I thought it was very disrespectful at times and as I say I found the character like the main character very annoying so I only gave it two stars next up was my book of the month absolutely love this book so freaking much and it was a, uh, called The Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. Book two has just come out and I really want to get it, but it's snowing and I can't get into town because like it's so bad weather. Um, but as soon as the snow is gone, I'm there. I'm getting that book. I need book two in my life right now. Uh, so yeah, this was so much fun. I love all things pirate anyway. I've always loved pirate kind of themed, adventure themed books. Um, so there was drama, there was a bit of romance, there was adventure, a motley crew, and I just absolutely loved Elosa, who was the main character. She was sassy, strong, powerful, she didn't care what people thought of her, she just did her thing, and she still managed to look beautiful doing it, you know. Um, very strong character, I love a good female lead who is strong and sassy and fun, and I loved her personality and her strength and 
yeah, I, I just really loved her and I loved the the story. Uh, they're on the hunt for this uh, very important part of a map that her father's kind of sent her out on this mission. And it's just really good. I really enjoyed it. Also, there's the captain... Uh, the sexy Raiden, who is like the Capto, who's kind of took her captive, and it's just great, like their their kind of relationship that they form, and I uh, just I loved everything about it. Absolutely brilliant. Seriously, check it out. Daughter of the Pirate King, and the uh, book two is called Daughter of the Siren Queen. So you find out a bit more about her mom and stuff like that. Okay, next up, oh yeah, five stars for that, by the way. Uh, next up, Love, Hate, and Other Filters, uh, wrote by Samia. Ahmed and this was a really good book really thoroughly enjoyed this book and um, basically it's about this kind of coming of age story about an Indian American Muslim girl called Maya and she's kind of torn between two worlds the world that she wants for you know her future and her life and what her parents want for her uh, she's got an aunt that's very supportive of her and kind of sticks up for her and supports what she wants to do but that causes problems between the parents and the aunt as well um, throwing a bit of romance and friendship and it, it was just absolutely brilliant thought provoking and also at the same time there's this kind of other story going on um, where there's like a terror attack I won't go too much into it but there's a terror attack that happens and it was just it was just brilliant it was so, so thought provoking this story and the characters were great and I, I just really really enjoyed it it was really emotional really exciting and yeah really good so I gave this book five stars okay so next up the silent companions by laura purcell i was oh my god i was so excited to read this book because i'd heard some good things about it and also the book looked so beautiful it had such a beautiful cover i haven't got it anymore because i sent it off to one of my friends here on youtube as well so uh, she's a booktuber as well and i was like look would you like me to send you this because it's such a great book have it as a gift so i haven't got it to show you but trust me the cover is beautiful so this was a spooky kind of read and i i don't just read spooky scary stories at halloween i do read them like all year round um, so basically it's about this character called uh, Elsie, she's newly widowed and she goes to live at this kind of spooky crumbly old house and there's these weird kind of painted wooden figures who kind of resemble people who used to be in the house and stuff in the past so it's kind of told in two parts uh, story of the past and story more, more recent and you get to find out how the silent companions that's what they're called how they come about what's their story very good very chilling it felt very classy kind of old-fashioned ghost story it, it was brilliant really really good absolutely loved it and gave it five stars next up i read oh no i didn't read sorry i listened I listened another audio uh, audio book called lucky in love by casey west so my favorite booktuber is a girl called kit cats can read and she always says how uh, wonderful casey west books are so i was like oh you know looking through all the audio books and i was like actually let's try a casey west book so i found lucky in love um so basically um doo -doo -doo -doo, where's my notes oh here we go it's on the next page <laughs> so basically yeah this girl um she's a really sweet character i did like the character her name's maddie and uh, she basically randomly decides to put on a lottery ticket she does the lottery and she wins she wins the lottery i'd like that so really you know it's how her life changes instantly like you you win the lottery your life changes instantly she kind of uh, doesn't know to trust or not in her friendship group and things like that and different people who have never spoken to her before like hey let's be friends and can you lend me money for this and can you buy me that and so you know that was kind of like interesting to find out who was after her just for her money and things and who weren't who was just like being a friend anyway um she works at a zoo which i was you know i loved listening to the audio of like explaining the zoo and stuff like that and she falls in love with this lovely character called Seth who also works at the zoo and he's really sweet and yeah it's just it's very kind of fluffy sweet fluffy romantic sweet I keep saying the word sweet but that's mainly the word that I would use to describe this book sweet and I gave it three stars next up I read, um, I read a thriller called The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn so I was involved in something called thriller a -thon which basically a readathon and you had to read thrillers there were challenges etc and uh, the woman in the window had been really hyped so i always worry when books are so hyped 
are they going to be good or are they just like overhyped? But this one deserved the hype because it was so good. Um, basically, there's this character and she's called Anna and she lives alone. She's a bit of a recluse and she's agoraphobic. She's scared to go out of her house. She hasn't left in a long time and she kind of witnesses something she wasn't meant to see and hear and she kind of gets involved and there's all secrets and truths coming out about her life and other characters' lives and it's just it was a really great thriller it was absolutely fantastic um i did find it triggered me a little bit because i have got anxiety and in the past i did suffer from agoraphobia where i was frightened to go out of my house um so it kind of triggered me a little bit but it wasn't too much like sometimes oh sorry sometimes i read books and they really trigger me so bad like i have to stop reading um but this didn't it just made me feel a little bit comfortable but it was it was really really good very 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 good uh well wrote and definitely deserves the hype five stars so next up in february i had done three little quick reads as part as of, of part of as part of the thriller a thon so the first one i read was clean break by tammy cohen i've read another book by tammy cohen as well and she's she's absolutely brilliant she's such a great author uh, so it's about these two characters kate and jack and they've been married they've got kids and they've just split up and kate wants to move on but the husband jack does not want to move on and he kind of turns into this weird man stalker person yeah and he also got nothing to get her back literally um, but it is it is quite a creepy thriller and it is quite kind of scary and chilling at times but there is a lot of twists there's a lot of twists especially at the end which i thought was brilliant so i gave that book a four out of five next up i read another quick read by mark billingham called cut off i'd never read a mark billingham book so i didn't know what to expect um so this is a character called louise she loses her mobile phone someone finds it and this person who finds the phone turns out to be this kind of crazy psychopath woman um so you know this poor louise is kind of like cut off from everybody her friends family etc and yeah i mean this book kind of makes you realize how much you rely on your mobile phone how a lot of your life is kind of revolved around having your mobile phone um yeah it was a good book it was okay the last page really gave me the chills i was like <gasps> as i read it i don't know it really like yeah it was good it was good i gave this uh three and a half stars um and the other short read i read was by sophie hannah and it was called pictures or it didn't happen i've read a few other sophie hannah books and i think she's a great author but i've got to be honest i didn't really feel this one i wasn't really feeling it that much um it's about this character called chloe and she meets this guy who she thinks is uh, kind of knight in shining armor he kind of saves her with something um to do with her daughter and then like she goes on this mission to find him and then his uh, receptionist says keep away you know he's a psychopath he's a nutcase keep away from him um yeah so is he nice is he not i don't know i didn't find this much of a thriller um oh uh, yeah i didn't really like it very much so i only gave it two out of five and next up, I read The Couple Next Door by Sherry LaPena. Loved it. Another book that had been so hyped, I thought, hmm, will I like it? But yes, I did. Deserves the hype. Um, so basically, there are three couples, and they've all got kind of secrets, all kind of intertwined, all between each other. A very dark, exciting thriller. Loved it. Uh, there's a missing baby. There's secrets. There's passion, lies, money, family drama. It was brilliant really good thriller and um yeah really enjoyed it four out of five the only reason i didn't give uh, that book a five out of five is because i kind of started guessing who it was um with thrillers i like to kind of get to the end and be like oh be a bit shocked so when i kind of guess it, it kind of takes the point away for me sometimes um but yeah it was really really good though next up i read another thriller i did read a lot of thrillers in this thriller -a -thon. funny that because it's a thriller -a -thon, but anyway uh yeah so i read a book called exposure um i haven't wrote down the author naughty laura in my book um but it was i think it was agar we, no i can't remember it but it, yeah it was called exposure and it was a thriller about a girl named kristin and she starts to get these horrible emails with these like really like horrible attachments then someone starts like hacking her computer hacking her life um 
yeah i mean it, i liked it because you didn't know who it was for a long while i i had like five suspects who it could have been which i loved because i didn't know who it was you know it was the bad person as such um and yeah i think this book was a bit dark at times it was a bit disturbing at times but i really liked it and uh, there was a lot of like photography talk in it as well because the girl is a photographer like the main character which i enjoyed because i like photography and yeah i thought it was really cool it was all right i give it four out of five uh, next up, ah, now this is exciting, but I'll tell you more in a minute, is The Chalk Man. Oh, yeah. So, basically, keep watching, so I'm going to be giving this book away. Anyway, uh, but for now, I'll finish the uh, the wrap-up, and then I'll do that bit. So, basically, The Chalk Man is by CJ Tudor, and uh, it's set in both the 80s and 2016. Lots of creepy vibes from this book. It's a thriller with some dark humour in parts. Even though it's a dark thriller... It did have a lot of humour in it. It's, it's really funny. It's weird to say that about a thriller, but I did find it quite funny at times. Uh, very well wrote. So there's a backstory, murder, friendship, family, these scary little chalk men that are kind of go around the place. Um, I actually read this book and it gave me really bad <laughs> nightmares, um, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I suppose it's good in the way that it was so believable and it got in my head, but bad that I had nightmares um but yeah it was really really good i gave it a four out of five um but yeah like exposure it was a little bit graphic at times um like the descriptions of certain parts of the book were quite ooh, you know but you know it was really really good a four out of five and um the last book I can't really include it because I haven't finished it. I'm nearly finished it, but I'm going to mention it anyway. But this isn't a book that I've completed this month. This is a book that I am so close to have uh, completed. I'm still reading it now. Um, so, yeah, it's called An Unkindness of Magicians by Cat Howard. Uh, this kind of reminds me of, like, Dynasty Dallas, but with magic and witchcraft it's really weird to explain um but yeah it's like a there's magical magical duels happening between different um magicians and there's lots of adventures it's exciting it's fun and yeah it's uh, obviously i won't go too much into this because next month when i do my next wrap up i'll tell you about it um as i say because it is march now and i'm still reading it so that'll go in my march wrap up but yeah it's definitely worth checking out and it's got a gorgeous cover it's got like white like i don't know like white trees and a white background it's it's just a really unusual looking cover it's really like magical looking um but anyway so that is my wrap up for the month hope you got some ideas for some books uh what have you read this month let me know in the comments section down below and if you've got any like book recommendations for me also uh comment down below and let me know uh so very quickly yes i'm doing a giveaway this is the book i'm giving away as i said a uh, very very good book seriously it's really really good the chalk man by cj tudor by the way this isn't a dirty cover uh, this is how the book come it's brand new and it's basically meant to look like kind of smudged chalk but this is a clean cover I promise you've got all the little chalk men on the side there and if you open it up there are all the chalk men inside it's really good literally I read it in a few days because it was so exciting I was like I need to know what happens um, so if you would like to be in with a chance of winning the chalk man book all you've got to do is comment down below the word enter and then I'll know that you would like to enter for the giveaway to win this book so you get a month from today to enter and i'll put in the description box when the closing date is so you'll know what date you've got to enter till okay so good luck to you you can enter wherever you are in the world by the way this is like you know open to everybody but there is one rule i know there's always got to be rules but you do have to be a subscriber of my channel to enter the contest which i think is pretty fair enough uh, so just you know literally click that red button subscribe to my channel and you can enter to win the chalk man um so yeah i really liked it it was good hopefully it doesn't give you nightmares though like it gave me nightmares <laughs> okay uh, so um all i'm gonna do now is show you this jar this is a very important jar it is filled with the names of uh, lots of books that i own that i haven't read yet now this uh is not filled with books of the names of series that i've got to read these are just like standalone book titles in here okay that i haven't read yet that are on my various bookcases around the house and basically once a month it's my tbr jar and once a month i pick one out and yeah basically i'll you know choose that book and at some point in the month i will read it uh, my tbr um jar book for february was the silent companions i think 
yeah, that was the one I chose um, that I read last month. You know what I mean? Uh, but this month, I'm not going to choose it. I'm going to get my fiancé Nathan to choose it. So I'm going to hand him over this jar in a minute and you will see uh, what book he chooses. Ooh, I hope it's going to be a good one. Well, I suppose they're all going to be good books because all these books I've bought to read at some point. So that's that's all right. Uh, but yeah, this idea was from Kit Kats Can Read. Uh, I saw her do this a few times. She's got like different jars where she does, you know, and she selects a book from it. Oh, those are awesome ideas. So I kind of borrowed permanently her idea for that <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna let nathan pick me out a book so keep watching for that don't forget if you are uh entering for the contest please subscribe to my channel to enter and good luck to you and as i say you've got a month from today's date i'll put it in the description box you know when it is to enter so good luck and there you go if you are on goodreads come and follow me on there you can see what books i've read what books i want to read and what books i'm well, listening to or reading at the moment and yeah links down below twitter is at minxlaura123 facebook is minx.laura.5 and instagram is minxlaura123 <laughs> okay i really needed to hiccup then oh okay thanks for watching everyone take care of yourself and if you are a reader like myself happy reading oh yeah take care everyone bye <laughs> I'm so sorry, I was gonna say, literally I just said goodbye at the end of the video, but it's not the end of the video because I'm gonna show you Nathan choosing my book from the TBR jar. So yes, do not stop watching now, carry on watching because you'll see Nathan uh, select me a book from this jar. Sorry, I'm not with it, I think I need more coffee. <laughs> right, carry on watching. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so it's now time for the TBR jar. I am going to get my fiancé, Nathan, to select me a book from the TBR jar. So in here, I have lots of different books I own that I've not yet read. And, yeah, he's going to choose for me. Pick me a good book, babe. <laughs> you are the uh, the guest chooser of the TBR jar. I'm going to have to jar. put it in a bowl because the jar yeah, it's is a bit too bit small. Full. Yeah. I, I couldn't get my hand in there if I tried. No, it's my fault. I should so, have got a bigger jar, really. Let's see if I can empty it. Okay. If not, we'll have to edit it because... Okay. They, no, let's... <laughs> so many books Oh, no, Well, I've got a lot of books that I haven't Look, read yet. So many books in the jar, they don't actually come out of the jar. No, okay, I'll edit this yeah, bit. We'll edit so this bit. we're just going to empty all these into, into the jar and then you're yeah. going to... Into the bowl and then you're going to pick it. Yes. Okay. Okay, so all of the books are in here. Well, not physically, just the names of the books on little different bits of paper. Nathan is mixing them up and he's not looking. Look, look, I'll go away a bit so you can see. So if you want to close your eyes and choose a book from the bowl, what's it going to be? Uh, I'm very like excited, the actually. One. Okay. Make sure Ooh, one. Here we go. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I hope you can read my writing. That's what I say. I hope we can read my writing. Yeah. What is it? Audrey Wif Wiffer Ninja. <laughs> hey. Her fearful sy symmetry. Oh right, I've had that book for ages. Box, yeah, it's in the um, spare room. I don't think her name is Wiffer Wiffer Ninja. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It looks like Wiffer Ninja. Audrey Niffenja. Nif her Fearful Symmetry. Yeah, it's quite a spooky book, that one. It's supposed to be really, really good, actually. I think she wrote a book called The Time Traveller's Wife. I think it's the same author. Oh, that is your book. So that is my book from the TBR jar this month. Thank you for choosing that. That's okay. Will you come back next month and do the same? I'll, or? I'll do the draw for yeah. you every month, so that way you can't oh. fix it. Yeah. And then pick the books you want to read. Exactly. Well, this is a great way of doing this, you know, of selecting because a book. Because, you know. It's completely random. Yeah. I don't even know what books are in it. Well, exactly, because yeah. so many. I've lost track. And it's a great way of kind of clearing your TBR, you know, yeah. with books you haven't read that are sitting on your bookcase for ages. Yeah, somehow, and... We've got to get all these. Oh, yeah, Thank back in to... the jar. <laughs> Thank you for helping me, babe. That's okay. I'm going to leave you to do this, though. And that's going to be the book that I'll read one of them, anyway, this month, Her Fearful Symmetry. Okay. Doesn't look like they fit, does it, really? They've got to get back in. They come out, so they've got to get back in, surely. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs>